it seemed like you guys had your way with Baker down in the post today. Um, you know, what does that do for just a confidence booster? I know you guys were coming off a little bit of an off night, you and Hunter. And, um, you know, how big was that to have them have a seven footer in the paint and you guys kind of impose your will? You know, it's always good to see the ball go in. Um, just always trying to take our time down there, trying to read the defense because we know it's either going to be a double or one on one, usually a double, though. Um, a lot tonight, they choked a lot. Um, coming off the top guy, and then uh, other than that, they play one on one. You know, it's always good to see that ball go in. I can't can't be upset about that. Ram Nevada had all their guys tonight, which they haven't had throughout their up and down season, and they're obviously a very talented team, a high scoring team. What was the key tonight defensively? Um, you know, we just wanted to keep the ball in Sherfield's hands on the hot on the hot ball screen and um, make it hard for those guys, Cambridge and uh, Sherfield. You know, they're very good players. And, uh, you know, we want to limit their touches as much as possible and make make them make plays to the other guys. And uh, that's what we did tonight. They shot uh, 36% on the game. Credit to our defense, you know. We just really played hard tonight. Proud of these guys. Graham, you're a big fan of looking down at the score sheets, as you just did. Uh, what were your thoughts last week after looking down at the score sheet at CSU? What did they do to you that, that limited you? Um. You know, you know, they had a low guy on the um, double team. Nothing that we haven't seen before. We've been doing that all summer. Credit to them. They played great defense last game, you know. But, uh, you know, just missed some shots. And that happens. Um, can't get upset about that because that's very uncharacteristic of us. And, um, you know, just got to come in the next day, put in some more work, and um, just try to see that ball keep going in. And that's what that's what happened. Well, Graham, was there kind of a come-to-Jesus moment at all this week with you guys preparing for this game and this stretch run you have here? Um, you know, we just wanted to stay together once again, you know. A loss hurts, you know, because we, you know, it doesn't happen too much for us. So it feels like a big thing when we lose and, you know, we just can't get spread apart. You know, we just want to stay connected and um, just be together. You know, we got a team dinner tomorrow, you know, things like that. We just want to keep staying together and not pulling away from each other as we get closer to the end of this season. Graham, after playing only 10 games last year, coming off an injury, I mean, you're going through this gauntlet here and you have another busy week here. Just how are you feeling getting through this? I'm feeling pretty good, you know. I love playing basketball, so the more games we could play, the better. Uh, I love practicing too, but you know, just the quick turnarounds I love, just because it's more basketball against other people instead of our guys. Um, you know, it's just great to keep playing these games, and um, you know, you can't take it for granted because one day the ball stops bouncing, so you know, you just want to keep it rolling while you can. Graham, you know, you guys got these four games in eight days to close out the regular season, and conference tournament obviously you know how big is this stretch for you guys is maybe giving y'all some experience for if you guys do end up in the NCAA tournament oh this is really big for us um just to just to show us how much we need to stay together and win each day and not get ahead of ourselves and look forward to any other games and look forward to the uh, Mountain West Conference Championship or the uh or the NCAA tournament you know just got to win each day one day at a time and just keep progressing as a team and keep staying together as one unit cool great Graham, Mark Ziegler from San Diego Union Tribune here. Same question I asked to Hunter. Uh, how much do you guys hear about San Diego State and their culture, culture from uh, Coach Linder? Um, you know, we hear a lot, you know, their togetherness and things like that. Um, but, you know, he preaches, you know, to us just on staying together and um, just being one great team, one good unit. Um, and that's what we keep continuing to do. You know, we listen to Coach Linder at all times. You know, his word <laughs> means a lot to us. Um, we Everybody hears it. And so, you know, we just want to keep fighting and keep pushing through as this season comes to an end and not spread out and not get away from each other. And how big is this game on, on Monday night for you guys in the sense that, you know, it's the first time you played them this season. They, they're the leader in, 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 in winning conference titles in this league, uh, in this league's history, and, and also recently um, as a measuring stick and, and just, you know, with all the, the stakes, how big of a deal is this? Um, you know, it's a big game coming up. Tonight was a big game. Um, you know, we just want to keep trying to win those days and win each game at a time. Every game is going to be a big game just because we want to keep winning and want to get our record better. And so, um, yeah, we just look forward to the next day, the next practice, and just how to prepare for those guys and um, try and get a win on Monday. Thank you. Cool. I just want to say thank you to all the fans that came out and uh, the team played well tonight. I'm really proud of these guys.